you are gonna buy into a watch right now, I'd recommend probably the Pebble Steel. Um, it's a really good device, it's waterproof. Um, it works for about seven days uh, per charge, which is great as compared to the other ones, which only have about a day charge. It'll work with iOS and also Android. So you can't really go wrong with it, and the price point is pretty affordable. Um, this will give you your notifications, it'll let you control the music on your different devices. It utilizes Bluetooth for that. Um, the only thing is you can't really respond that well to message or messages or anything like that on here. Um, there are a bunch of apps that are loaded off of your phone that go onto there as well as different uh, faces for it as well. So the Pebble has a, a very standard interface. It's not the most exciting interface in the world. Um, it's not a touch screen. So if you're looking for a touch screen, you'll probably want to go with Android Wear. There's a ton of, ton of these that are coming out right now. This is one of the LG ones. The ones that are most popular are probably the Moto 360 and also um, the new LG one that also just came out that's also around, that's the LG R. I, I would be very careful what you buy into. Um, I, in particular, wouldn't recommend buying into the Android Wear system just yet. Again, they're only on the first iteration of their operating system. A lot of the functionality of some of the devices, they're not even taking advantage of that in the current Android operating system that sits on there. Ultimately, though, I would probably hold that and wait for the Apple Watch. It's gonna come out probably in Q1 or Q2 of 2015, and I think that's gonna be a game changer in terms of uh, the operating system, ease of use, and the overall experience.